Hello everybody. Today then I'm taking a break off my loco components to make uh, a rolling road. Uh, and how I'm doing it, I've got 12 of these bearings, the 30mm 30, 30 OD 10mm bore, and I've been in my scrap box outside, my metal box I call it, and I found this piece of uh, aluminium channel, which is just long enough, 30, 32 inch long it is, just to cut it in two, and I'm going to make two channels for these bearings to run in. Not quite sure I'm going to hold it all together yet, but we'll get to that when we get to it. So if you want to stick with me, I'm going to start that now. And I'm going to I'm going to divide it up now. My wheel centres are five and a quarter, so I've got from the centre five and a quarter each way. And then in the centre of those five and a quarters, I'm going to make my bearings fit um, three and a half inches. I want my bearing to be as far as near to the top of the channel as possible. I'll go 8mm from the top. Right, I'm going to go over now and drill these 10mm diameter 6 holes. 2, 4, 6. Same in this other piece, and then we'll uh, we'll have another look at it. I'm back over at workbench now where uh, you see me drilling the holes in the channel and what I'm going to do then is put a, bit, a bolt in each hole with a bearing on then I'm going to put a locking nut up to the bearing I may even put a washer on there yeah I'm going to put a locking nut on and then when the bolt comes through the other end just lock it off with another nut and then uh, just repeat for each one. I've got the bearings now clamped into the channel and I've offered, offered them up to the wheels and obviously the bearings have got to go up to the flange on the wheel so this part of the channel is stopping it. So what I've got to do, I've got to put a radius on, on one side of the channel the diameter of the wheels and I'm, I'm doing it over on my milling machine you, you could easily file it, it's only aluminium this but I had my cutter already set at four and a half at four and a quarter sorry for when I did my brake blocks so that's all set my cutter so I'm just in the process of cutting this radius out if you're not sure how to easily set your fly cutter up to a disc to a diameter or a radius take a look back at my chimney chimney video my chimney base where I made it to match my smoke box diameter I, I explained it all in that it's quite simple really uh, so all I'm doing then because I've drilled these holes accurately and, and all the bolts are the same diameter head I'm just touching on one bolt there 
touching on this one on this side then and I know I've got the I know I'm in the centre then the centre line where the wheel's going to fit I'm back on workbench now, I've, uh, I've done all my milling, I've milled the, the radiuses out. Just off camera I've put these two plates underneath just to space the bearings out to the gauge of the wheels which is 5 inches. So that's just straightforward, F 4 screws with two plates, then I've put an extra, extra screw in and I've stuck that screw through and what that will do is when I put this flat on my track that will sh stop it moving on track I've just got to lift the loco up now to get this under which is going to be a, a bit of a task because it's getting heavy now managed to get the rollers on the track I've made my urn here three times bigger than it was, but there you go, it's all part of fun. Uh, yeah, it's quite heavy now. I have a job on at that height, I have a job on lifting one end up, but I've managed to do it with, with blocks and blocks of wood under it anyway. It's on, so I'm ready for trying it now. So I'll just pump some air into the boiler. I'm just going to hold on to the chimney just in case it takes off. I'm going to sign off for now then, and if you've not seen my other videos, take a look at them, and if not, I'll catch you on my next video. Thanks for watching then, bye for now.